Good morning. Hope you're ready for an exciting day. My name is Robbie Quick, and I had a quick thought for you. You know, there's a scripture in, in, in Ephesians that starts out really good for men. It says, wives, submit to your husbands as unto the Lord. It's like, yes. <laughs> and then you, know, you close the book and like, hey, honey, you read that? <laughs> but if you keep it open and literally just finish the sentence, it said, but husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church, even giving his life for her. I mean, man. And I, I've been married for about a le little over 11 years. And my wife and I have learned and grow, grown and, and thought we made it, we were perfect, and then realized, oh no, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> and then, you know, new conversations and, and, and I, I hate saying arguments, but, but discussions that sometimes aren't the best. If you're married, you ever been there? <laughs> but we started learning something this last year, and, and even if you're single, I think it can help you for, for whatever your future holds. Um, that scripture was a big part of it. My wife decided, I really want to go back to school because I want to be a nurse. I have this desire to be a midwife one day and help people and deliver babies. And it was like, oh man, what's that going to look like? And when I broke it down, when we broke it down, it was going to be a lot. And we were heading in to her first semester. She got into Sac State, stingers up, and um, was ready to go. And we were, we were going to have a babysitter lined up to kind of help us, but that fell through. And so I had to step in a lot more with picking them up and dropping them off. And, and already that year, I had had kind of this idea of my word for the year was going to be sacrifice. And I knew pretty quickly it was going to be with her going to school and helping with the family, which obviously I'm the dad, I should do that. I'm the husband, I should do that. But saying it felt good. No, oh, well, I'm sacrificing for my wife. She'll go back to school. I'm going to be a good husband. It felt good. And I got accolades like, dude, you're such a good husband. Oh, my goodness. And saying it and receiving that was phenomenal <laughs> until I had to do it. And, and, and it's been great, but it's been a challenge. Matter of fact, before she went back to school, I was doing some things, was on Good Day Sacramento, some cool fun things, and things were going good. And I got asked, hey, can you go with Compassion International to Africa and do this thing? And I was signed up and ready to go. And we got into the school year for my wife, into Sac State, and things got um, a little crazy. And we, our, our babysitting wasn't quite clicking. It was like going to be this many weeks I was gone, and she was full-time school and trying to work it out. And bottom line, I got to a place where I had to make a really serious decision. <laughs> Would I go on this trip or, or stay back and help my family? And, and I had to make a decision that was super hard. I mean, I had to say, listen, I, I can't go on this trip with you. I need to be home. It's just what has to happen right now for my family because of some circumstances and, and, and working out with my kids and some other things. And it's one of the hardest things I've ever done but I did it, and my wife, because it was close to Valentine's Day when I was gonna go on this trip and I was home now, she wrote me this note, I shouldn't be sharing this, it's just, I'm too real, I think, but, but um, I hope this helps and encourages somebody. She said, basically, I don't have the note in front of me, but it was, honey, this action for me was one of, she said, I've never felt more valued and cared for. Now, part of me was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> She's never felt more valued and cared for in 11 years. I'm a loser, you know? <laughs> but the other part was, it was such a big deal that in that moment, she really felt like, whoa, he really sacrificed something big for him to give her the peace, to relieve stress. And it was hard for me to do that, but I did it. And I watched the impact. And that's just even fueled more of me going, how do I really go after that scripture? In life, there's going to be a lot of things that we do for ourselves. Uh, further education, uh, help get, get further up in our job, in our position. And, and in life, whether you're married or not, there's going to come a point where if we're really following Christ and his example, we're going to realize, ah, oh, it's so hard to understand this. It's not about us. And truly emulating who Christ was and trying to follow him, that's what a believer is, a follower of Christ, Christian, we have to be humble. And humility is, is really, there's no place for you. It's about you focusing on others and saying, how can I help someone else? How can I, for me in this moment, it was how can I love my wife as Christ loved the church, as her husband? And maybe that right there alone is something you needed to hear this morning. How can you really be a person of sacrifice? for your wife, your spouse, your family. 
and maybe even if you're not married or, or whatnot, just in general as a follower, how can you look around and go, how can I actually be a person that goes, how can I make someone else's world better? And that it's not just about me. Not that everyone revolves around and in my world, but how can I impact other people's world? I know that was a lot to grasp, but I'm starting to grab something in my heart and in my mind that when it's always about me, things just don't work out. But when it really genuinely becomes about others, not as mean we can't have things and do things, but man, if you really want to be successful, if you will, in this world, it's about really looking around and going, how can I make a difference in the lives of others? Small ones, large ones, but that it's not about me, that it's about them and others. It's powerful. Now, I know as you're listening, at least I believe, God's probably speaking to you and maybe even showing you in your life how you can apply that. But my encouragement to you this morning is, how can you make it about others and not just yourself? It might be in your marriage. It might just be in your life. It might be a family member, a friend, uh, a barista at your favorite coffee shop. I don't know. But I hope you'll be willing to hear God and act upon it saying, how can I better others and sacrifice a little bit of who I am in the most center of my selfishness to say, can I pour that out, set that aside and say, can I focus on someone else and not just make it about me? It's a powerful thing. It's something that has to be learned. It can hurt sometimes. Uh, It can be tough, but it's so well worth it. And I hope you'll give it a shot. I hope you'll make it a central part of your thinking and and your prayers. And maybe one day I'll get to even hear the other side of your sacrifice. Hope that's encouraging. Have a great day. I'm working on it. Hope you will too. Take care.